Welcome to part four of Synagogues of Pennsylvania. In this episode, we look at four areas in the northeast part of the state. They are Scranton, Wilkesbury, Hazleton, and Kingston. Our first stop is Temple B'nai B'rith in Kingston, Pennsylvania. Kingston is a small town just to the north of Wilkesbury. Kingston is also considered in the Wyoming Valley of northeastern Pennsylvania. B'nai B'rith is a Reformed temple. Its rabbi since 2008 is Roger Lerner. Shabbat services are held on Friday evenings, and there is an occasional Saturday morning service. There is a twice-a-week Hebrew school. We next move over to Hazleton, which is further south. This is Agudas Israel Synagogue. It is egalitarian conservative. For many years, the congregation boasted of having a minion twice daily, but now it has become very rare. Michael Michelin is rabbi. Hazleton is also home to a second synagogue, that is Beth Israel Temple. Interestingly, it also lists Michael Michelin as its rabbi. Beth Israel is identified as being reform affiliated. It's also possible that these two congregations may have merged or are sharing resources. Therefore, we shift over to Wilkesbury and to Congregation Ohav Tzedek. The congregation was founded in 1893. This location became its home in 1932. In 1972, the synagogue building suffered from the overflowing Susquehanna River. And by the spring of 1973, the building was restored properly. David Kaplan has recently been hired as its rabbi. And we should point out that Ohav Tzedek is an Orthodox shul. Another Jewish house of worship in Wilkesbury is Temple Israel, a conservative synagogue. Services are held both morning and evenings on a daily basis. Its spiritual leader is Rabbi Larry Kaplan. The congregation was formed in 1922 and this building in 1925. And now we shift over to Scranton where there are several Jewish institutions. There is 76,000 in the city proper, but the metro area has about a half a million residents. This first location on our list is Beth Shalom. It is an Orthodox shul with a full schedule of daily services morning and evening. Yisrael Brodsky is rabbi. This next location is the Scranton, Pennsylvania Yeshiva, more formally known as Beis Moshe. In other words, it is a high school for Orthodox Jewish boys, as well as a collegiate level Beis Medrash, or house of study. It was founded in 1964 by two rabbis, Chaim Bressler and Yaakov Schneidman. Between high school and college age students, approximately 150 young men make this their preferred site of study. Somewhere in our tourist synagogues, a Chabad house will eventually show up. And this episode is no exception. This building is identified as Chabad of Scranton. Yehuda L. Itkin is director. There is a synagogue on the premises. Somewhere over here is Congregation Machzike Hadas, an Orthodox shul. We believe it has been around since 1991, or at least at this location. The synagogue was founded in 1924. Rabbi Mordechai Dofein has been its spiritual leader. At least we can attest so from a couple years ago. But as the congregation does not have an official website, it is difficult to extract the most recent information. Temple Chesed is a Reformed congregation hidden from street view. This overhead shot gives you somewhat of a perspective of its enclosure among the trees. Daniel Swartz has been its rabbi since 2006. It claims to be Scranton's oldest synagogue dating back to the 1840s. In those days, it was known as Hevra Rodef Shalom. In 1860, it was renamed Kahilat Anche Chesed. This current building was consecrated in 1973 and refurbished in 1999. The main sanctuary has a fixed seating for 225, but can be expanded to 600. We move to the final site on this tour. 
Temple Israel, an egalitarian conservative synagogue. Moshe Sachs is its rabbi. The congregation was formed in 1921. The laying of the cornerstone for this building took place in 1927. And this wraps it up for this edition of Synagogues of Pennsylvania. There's a lot more synagogues to come. Bye for now. Hope to see you soon.